Hey everyone, Mark from CNC Sourced here. Today I want to talk about the differences between fiber lasers and CO2 lasers, two of the most common types of laser cutters used by hobbyists and small businesses today. There are some key differences between these two laser types that make each better suited for certain materials and applications. Understanding these differences is crucial when deciding which laser cutter is right for your needs and budget. I'll be covering the technical differences between fiber and CO2 lasers, the practical differences, and factors to consider when choosing between the two. Stick around to the end where I'll share an exclusive tip on how to pick the best laser for your specific projects. Let's start with the technical differences. Fiber lasers use optical fibers and light as the energy source to generate the laser beam. This allows them to produce a wavelength between 0.78 to 2.2 micrometers, typically around 1.06 micrometers. CO2 lasers, on the other hand, use a combination of gases like CO2, nitrogen, and helium as the laser medium. They produce longer wavelengths between 9 to 11 micrometers, usually around 10.6 micrometers. The shorter wavelength of fiber lasers means they can focus the beam into a smaller, tighter spot. Fiber lasers also convert the energy source into the laser beam much more efficiently, around 42% compared to just 15% for CO2 lasers. This leads to some important practical differences between these two laser types. Let's start with the materials each can cut. Fiber lasers are great at cutting metals. Think steel, gold, and brass. Their shorter wavelength is readily absorbed by metals, allowing clean, fast cuts. CO2 lasers, on the other hand, excel at cutting non-metals like wood, acrylic, plastics, rubber, and more. Their longer wavelength is ideal for these materials. There is some overlap. Both can cut wood, for example. But in general, fiber lasers are for metals, while CO2 lasers are better for non-metals. Now for hobbyists and small shops, this material compatibility is by far the most important factor in choosing between fiber and CO2 lasers. Buy the laser that matches the material you'll be working with the most. The higher efficiency and tighter beam spot of fiber lasers also makes them faster at cutting thin metal sheets. We're talking up to five times faster than a CO2 laser. However, for thicker metal cuts, over half an inch, a CO2 laser can be just as fast and give a better edge finish. When it comes to price, fiber lasers are more expensive up front, but their lower operating costs compared to CO2 lasers can make up for this over time in an industrial setting. For hobbyists, though, the operating cost differences are minor. One practical advantage of CO2 lasers is that they require less maintenance than fiber lasers. The CO2 laser tube does need replacement every 5,000 hours or so, but fiber lasers have no consumable parts. Okay, so when should you choose a fiber laser over a CO2 laser? Here's an exclusive tip for hobbyists and small shops, let your material guide the decision. If you'll mainly be cutting metals like steel or titanium, a fiber laser is the way to go. For non-metals like wood, acrylic, or leather, get yourself a CO2 laser. Focus on getting a low-powered laser. 50 watts or less is plenty for most hobby needs. Some good options are the Cloudray Rakus fiber laser for metals or the popular Glowforge CO2 laser for non-metals. Consider your budget, power, and bed size needs. And if you're setting up a production line, a fiber laser can offer faster thin metal cutting, but a CO2 laser excels for thicker material. Crunch the numbers on productivity improvements and operating costs against the initial price. That's the key factors to consider when choosing between these two excellent laser cutter options. Thanks for watching. If you want to dive deeper into this topic, check out our full blog post for a detailed comparison of fiber lasers and CO2 lasers. See you next time.